guys, Sponge Murphy here. So a while ago when I showed videos of um of this high elf mage model, um you, I said that I didn't do any details on the pages of the book. I didn't put any writing on it because I thought that I couldn't really paint them on as well, and I didn't want to mess it up. But um one of my YouTube buddies, Jar, I put a link to his channel. I think his his YouTube name is pronounced Jurchin. I think Jurchin. But um he put a video up and he basically for any detail like that he uses these detail pens um, and he said the best one to kind of get is like 0 0.1 I think that's the smallest one you can get for kind of like writing on books like this um, I have tried it I've tried one side I'll just zoom in just a little bit and as you can see it comes out really nice you know come out really great so um, and I'm pretty sure this is the exact same pen he had except he had the set but I just bought a single one downtown when I was in in the town. Um, hey, you see, there's zero point one, and then um, to be honest with you, like I I tried out like a scribble on like, a bit of paper, and it, it's so simple to do. I'll just try and do a little bit on the other page, even though there's not much space on it. But um, you know, he said just to try it out to see how we get on. I'm just gonna show you just a little bit. You see, well, it's not perfect, it's a little bit crooked. If I put another bit in there. But anyway, it's kind of a bit hard to do with the camera right there. But the first page came out pretty good. Um, and the good thing about these pens, like, if they're so small, they don't come out, you know, blotchy. Unless you, like, leave it on it. I know there's a little bit of blotch there on that. But, um,. Yeah, it's definitely worth trying out if you need anything, maybe for like banners and everything. I know on his video he showed like stuff he did like this on the banner. Um so yeah, definitely worth giving it giving it a go. This one is sure. Unipin fine line. Uh water and fade proof pigment ink, so definitely worth picking up for for all your kind of fine detail work. I know my example here didn't really come out too well on that page, but the first page I did, you know, concentrating properly without the camera uh, underneath me, came out pretty well. And plus, it's the first time I tried it, and now if I practice a bit on a few other stuff, I'd get it down a bit better. But uh, yeah, thanks to George for showing me that. And I thought I'd share, I shared a little kind of tip and all that he shared with me. So uh, yeah, so that's it. Just keep an eye for Uni Pin Fine Line 0 0.1. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.